Hey guys, so first off, I've been playing around with my zoom level with the goal of trying to increase the size over here of this uh, menu because it's quite small, just default. So I have my zoom level at zero and my font size at 23. Um, so it's actually smaller over here. I think it's a little bit smaller, but I zoomed. Um, so let me know what you think of the size of both of these. If you want the main text to be a little bit bigger or if you want the left side to be a little bit bigger or if they're both good, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll play around with them for the next video. All right, so what I wanna get into in this video is kind of creating the next entity that we're going to have. So we're right about here in the uh, process of creating this uh, clone. So the next thing really to do is forgot password for the app, um, but I didn't really think through how that was gonna work when I was first creating that. And I think how most apps do it, at least Uber, Lyft, um, any popular app is they'll send you a code so you'll get texted a code um, and then you'll type in the code and then you can change your password and I don't really want to get into texting in this series so I think I'm gonna save doing how forgot password works with the app um, in a future series or a future video with that so I want to skip down to this next thing and that is creating listings so we're gonna create a listing for uh, uh, in our database we can get create a table for that and I was looking at uh, what a listing looks like on Airbnb. Um, so here's what one looks like, and I wrote down um, kind of some things that I thought would be good to have slash the, the fields in the database I wanna cover. Now feel free to add more columns or stuff. I wanna keep this pretty simple, and then maybe I'll add stuff on later, um, and feel free also for yourself if you wanna add more fields. But the main things I saw were uh, the name of a listing, a picture URL, a price, and I'm gonna hard code the price, um, but I'm sure Airbnb does it probably a little bit differently. They might have, uh, if you reserve at this popular time, it's more expensive, or at this other time, it's less, and you can change what the pricing is different times a year or whatnot. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Uh, I'm gonna store the number of beds um, and the number of guests. Feel free if you wanna store another baths, number of, I don't know, restrooms or whatever stuff you want to store. Oh, I'm gonna store a description um, the location of it, so we're going to store latitude and longitude, um, and then also the amenities down here we'll also store. So that's what's going on um, with this stuff, and uh, I'm storing the uh, location as latitude and longitude in case we want to do any type of location searching stuff later. Not sure if I want to get into that or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our server package, and we're going to add a new entity. So an entity represents uh, a database, uh, a table in the database. So we're gonna create an entity called listing. And listing is gonna represent um, this right here. So all the data that we wanna store for this page, I'm gonna call these things listings, um, and this entity is gonna be a listing. So I'm gonna copy the user over here and paste in the listing. Um, so I'm gonna say listing here, and the name of the table is gonna be listings. So the string right here is the table name in the database. Um, and I'm just gonna copy these fields that I wanna add and paste them in here and we'll add them one by one. All right, so we, I, we're gonna need to have an ID also, that's fine. And here we're gonna have a name. Uh, fine having a var char length 255. And then we're gonna have a description, right, picture URL first, I guess. And for this, the picture URL, I don't think we really need to restrict the length. So in Postgres, you can uh, have something be a text, and that means that uh, it can be any length long. So here we're saying it has to be less than or equal to 255 characters, but this can be as long as we want. Reason for that is the picture URL can be, um, this is something we're gonna add ourselves, so it's not really something that's user generated. And there's never going to be a point where like, hey, that picture URL is too long, um, right? So we kind of want to store all the pictures. All right, so next thing is the description. This we are fine making a var char. And I guess we'll, we can give it a length of 255 too. Probably you want a longer, uh, maybe we'll make this 100 because the name shouldn't be that long and the description should be longer. Uh, price. Um, now for price, usually you see like a double, I mean I guess it should be a number, a double for that, but I don't think we really need to store stuff as a double. 
at least in the database because I don't I think everyone's gonna have a round number I'm gonna either you know rent this out for a hundred dollars I don't think anyone's gonna do like hundred dollars and fifty cents or something so I'm gonna store the prices as an int um, but you could do double for the price if you wanted to uh, latitude and longitude we will do a double so latitude and that's gonna be a double precision and longitude and double pre precision is just what they call it in Postgres um, amenities I want to talk about last because that's kind of interesting um, beds and guests so beds and guests are both going to be a number so the number of beds and the number of guests all right so amenities is kind of interesting and the reason amenities is interesting is because if we take a look at this it's basically um, a bunch of strings is what it is so pool gym kitchen just a bunch of strings now how you normally represent this is probably another table so I have a table called amenities and it has pool gym kitchen washer dryer all that stuff and then you'd have a join table and the join table would link pool to this listing and gym to this listing um, which is a fine way to do it but one thing and I was really thinking about how I wanted to store this one thing one downside of that is we're gonna have to create um, let's say for example we were creating this listing here there is 21 amenities here right so that means when we create this listing we're gonna have to create 21 rows in our join table because we're joining 21 amenities and I was like that doesn't sound very fun to do and also whenever we're requesting this we're gonna have to do a bunch of joins so I was like that does not sound like a great way to do it so here's another way uh, we're gonna try out storing this and we'll see how it goes um, so Postgres has a cool uh, data type that not a lot of other databases have um, and it's arrays so you can actually just store an array of things so I'm thinking we're gonna store the amenities as an array of strings now a lot of you may be like but hey I want to search by uh, Wi-Fi so maybe I want to find all the listings that have Wi-Fi and uh, that might be why you might not want to pick uh, for example an array of strings but you can actually sort or search by an array of strings in Postgres so in Postgres you can see there's a contains operator so we can actually say search for um, basically are these elements in that elements or I guess it's the other way around uh, so we can say um, is, is, does this listing have a Wi-Fi and gym in its string of arrays uh, the other way we might store this is in a JSONB column, which could be indexed and whatnot. So that's another option. Uh, but I think we're going to start with an array and see how that goes. Now, so Typeform doesn't have the greatest documentation all the time. And so I was trying to figure out how you actually create an array, a Postgres array, in Typeform. And I ran into this issue. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, someone links a uh, example. Um, and so this is how they do it. So they create a column um, and they just say array is true. So that's what we're going to do for amenities and we'll see how this goes. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff at the bottom too. This is stuff from user. Um, so this is going to be a text column. So I'm going to say amenities and array true. And this is going to be an array of strings. All right, so this is what I'm thinking for the listing. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this listing in the comments below um, and how we're storing everything. I guess this is the most interesting way I'm doing uh, things. Everything else is pretty standard. Um, and uh, in the next video, we'll get started with uh, creating a, an amenity or creating a listing altogether, and we'll create a resolver for that. So I'll see you then.